internet, what is really, really, really good, you know what it is, it's the one and the only, the triple, the G-O-D, and of course I'd like to welcome you guys back to another installment of Triple the Guys Be Something, yo, Kevin Rider x episode number 14, yo, you know what, you know what, no, 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 I got to do this, because I was thinking about whether or not I wanted to roll in, but I'm gonna roll this. That new intro is mad hilarious. Like, I had to, because it's like, I didn't notice to, like, almost through the intro that the intro was new when they start showing Mighty Brothers Double X and all that stuff. But I had a humongous laugh when I noticed that Kyria was exiled from the intro. The Lord God, Kuroto, Don, and Ryder kicked this nigga out of existence, and I laughed so hard. I'm like, I know we, we talked heavy about his death, but it, it just seems kind of weird about how they're handling the intro, as if possibly they could fill that spot later. It's like, and then later in the episode, Emu just bo- just pops out Bakuso bike like it's no problem, so... I do wonder, like, what's the mystery behind it or how the show is really going to handle that because if the answer is simply, you know, you don't necessarily need the rider to activate the bike, then what's the point of the rider? So, that will be interesting to look at. The episode, though, this was another one of those great ones, but every single one of them are great ones. And this was great for one very, very important reason. It was the it was the way that the episode played out because episode thirteen ended on that weird cliff right after Embu transformed and it stopped. So it's like the the beginning of the episode like wrapped all it came back afterwards and then flashed back to what happened initially with his first transformation into Mighty Brothers Double S. Even though this episode was more technically like the real first transformation into the form. So I was like, I was pleased with that. It's like, I really like the direction that Act 2 was going. It's because we actually saw some damn growth from Hero. I'm like, oh, I called this from the jump. That Hero isn't the complete psych- psychotic asshole that he paints himself to be. It's like, it's like the, um, it's like when Emu, because it's like Emu punked him. Emu punked him into doing exactly what it was that Hero needed to do. But it's like, I called this too. The dynamic between Emu and Hero, that's going to play very major as we get probably, probably, Act 2 is probably going to be the building of whatever bridge between the two of them where they become best buddies of beyond a beyond a bond of mutual respect for each other's skills and for each other, period. The play of the game, though? I got to get that to call on duty black cops. I'm like, that flows into my other question and this little theory that I worked out of my head during the episode about Nico. If you have a character named a the genius gamer M, who would his sidekick be? Someone's name who starts with the letter N, which I think it's her link to all of this, but it's like, it still begs the question of why would she go, well, now that I think about that, while we're talking about it, the reason she would go and call on duty black cops, because if, if this is what it is, and she's not like some secret triple heel face, heel face turn agent for Lord God, then what's her, what's her angle in this? And that is kind of the question that we have to bring to the table because, yo, the last 30 seconds of the episode explain the first 14 of them. The reason why Emu is what he is and what's going on with him is simply because he is the he's the walking virus. But because of his... What is the word that I'm looking for here? Because of his aversion to the virus, we'll go with that. He's able 
to produce antibodies which allow transformations like into Mighty Brothers Double X, which would also explain his split personality issues and all of those stuff. So it's like the show was trying to make sense of it. So is that that then brings us back to the point for what the hell did Kyria die for? Because this can't be this can't be the reason a character dies because the main character is a walking antibody to the virus he's fighting, even though that makes 101 absolute sense on every single level that you could approach plot from, that you could approach how to interact with the story using a character in that way, given the premise of the show. So I don't know. I'm like, I will say, because I do not want to forget this. Yo, that first official fight with Mighty Brother Double X, that was hot. That was hot. I'm like, I'm with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm with that. I like I like the I like that flow. It's like, yo, pass it to me. Yo, I'm a slash this fool, slashy, slashy, slashy. It was hot. I'm like, it is stuff like Mighty Brothers Double X when I see that stuff in action on the TV show that make me want another Kamen Rider Climax Heroes game. Because I really thought that this was going to be the year that they brought it back somehow, but who knows what the hell is Aiden doing at the moment? You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, when I think about that, and I have, and I think about, I think about Climax Heroes more often than you think I do, is that that, sh- that, sh- that series would need to like reboot somehow. Like, they would have to it's like, because the best you could do is that you could take what Super Climax Heroes was and all of his assets and add new stuff, but then you'd have to get that stuff over to probably, you know, because I really think that with the Switch coming out, that's probably a system that, you know, that can handle whatever Climax Heroes could be next. So, you know, just a thought. But as usual, an amazing episode. Like I said at the beginning, that intro was hilarious. Lord God eliminated this fool from the intro. It's like, where he's supposed to be, it's blank. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, that's fucked up, Corrado. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Just saying. I'm like, I laughed hard. And I, I shouldn't, but it's like, it just seemed interesting again. And we and I talked about this earlier, about how they're handling the curious situation. And I guess for, you know, for a show that is trying to do what it do, I think that's probably the most elegant way that a kid's show can handle a character dying in an instance where that character was an integral part to how the show worked in its opening act. So again, that begs the question, what are they going to do with the Bakaso Bite Gash at? Which also brings up the question is how in the hell did, well, actually I can answer my own question. He's he's Lord God. That's how he got the gas conspiracy. The answer to every question when it comes to Kuroto Don is he's Lord God. That's the answer to every question. And that's how I'm going to answer every question until he inevitably gets his ass beat somehow by the power of coming after the power. Because given what I understand and know about what's going to happen in the next couple episodes, given what we got, is that Parry probably going to get his gash at one, two episodes tops. Given, given, given the plot and how we're screaming that XA needs to be brought down a peg. And you do that by introducing someone more powerful. And then he gets his ass beat a bunch and then he's like, I got to dig down deep. And then he gets some gold super form or something because it's Kamen Rider on a day that ends in Y. That's just the thing that makes sense. So it'll be interesting to see how long they sit up here and hold out on, on the parent thing and giving him a gas shot or whatever. Because it's like, when he get that gas shot, you already know Emu is catching Barry Allen level L's when he gets that ass whooped. That's going to happen. Because it's like, again, what this show has been good at, it's been making threats seem credible. Lord God is the reason why we call him Lord God is because the show built him built him up to be Lord God. So if you can if you can give 
that type of that type of push to a character like Hiroto Don, who needed that character because you needed a focal point for your villainy. Imagine what's gonna happen that Imu, given given his current state of mind, especially with Mighty Brothers X and the stuff we just learned in this episode, whenever Parrot gets his gash at, Imu is going to be knocked down a couple of pegs because a the show needs to build that type of drama. B, Mighty Brothers Double S can't be what your final transformation is going to be because that makes no sense, given that A, the show is what it is, and B, the show is what it is because it is a vehicle to sell toys. Let me remind you of that. I love this show. I do. I love watching it every week. I love getting on the mic, spitting on it. I'm like, this show is just amazing been a while since I've had the opportunity to say the show is amazing, but it is. So, that shall be that. That is an episode, folks. Um, I'd like to thank you for joining me for this review of this episode of the show we all enjoy and watch. How about that? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go and get on out of here. Got some stuff I got to do. So, with all of that being said... No, wait, wait, hold up. Let me see. Uh, Mm-hmm. Oh, one more thing. I appreciate in that fight with Mighty Brothers Double X that they cut back and forth between that fight and Hero. Again, more of that build, more of that bridge building of mutual respect and then actual friendship toward the end of the episode when a power up is needed to activate it because. Man, you my only homie, cause I, I, oh, cause these, these girls who treat me like Gary O, they don't really fuck with me for real. But you my nigga, though. Let's pound that. Let's get superpowers. That's gonna happen. It's, it's common rider on the day that ends and why. Thought you knew. But yo, I'm out of here. You know what it is? It's the one and the only, the triple, the G O D. And I'd like to thank you for joining me for another installment of Triple the Guy Speaks. On and with that, see you next game. <laughs>